students today we will discuss about how to perform the activity 2 that is how to configure vpn connection in windows server 2016 you know we already had a vpn access uh, in your previous semesters so there we use global protect vpn so by using that vpn no, we can access the college computer from your home computer there's a private network between your computer and college computer okay and there you have to make some settings in the vpn username and password okay here the same thing we are going to do but instead of connecting to college computer we are connecting the client to the server through vpn first we have to configure the vpn using uh, installing routing and remote access role then configure that role then create a username password for vpn client test the vpn functionality on client okay these four steps you are going to do okay so how to first uh, configure vpn first thing you have to install the service first routing remote role remote role okay i'll open the college computer even this is also i'm opening the college server remotely through global protect vpn you know that this is global protect vpn this one okay i use my settings password my username my password also there my portal everything okay so this one now I'm going to the server. It's only one. I'll go to manage. Whenever you want to add a role or feature, add role and feature in the manager. Just click next. Next. Again, only one server. Next. Here, I want to tell, uh, choose remote access. Okay, remote access. Next. Next. In the features, you have to choose direct access and VPN. I have to choose the VPN. No? So, direct access VPN. Add feature. Next, install the server. Okay. It may take few seconds to install the server. So, wait. is being installed so wait because it's being remotely accessed maybe that much okay now installation success now configuration required so click this open getting set started wizard click that for configuring the remote access role so here you have to go for third option deploy vpn only click that option now this is the routing remote access uh, window there see the option is red it's not configured right click the server name configure enable routing access click now here so many options are there remote access vpn network address translation vpn access and that we have to go for custom config because i don't want to do it uh, i want to do it uh, myself so custom i will choose some features only not the all so custom then here i will have five features i will choose only vpn when i go for nat i will choose nat but now i go for only vpn next step finish once it is done the service is started then this red color will become green see start the remote and routing service start once it is starting once it started you could see the color changing to green okay so vpn completed okay but still that uh, green color are not come just wait once you finish please wait the service on asset is done. once it starts it is now green color okay now I will close this and we will go to the tools window. There is routing and remote access. Click this. You get the same option here. Okay, just we will go to tools and check. Now right click this and there is properties. Okay, here we have IP before. Why we do this? For remote access, we need to give some IP. Okay, VPN access also. The client needs IP. Okay, the server will give you the IP for clients dynamically. So go here, IPv4. Dynamically and static so here i will mention static okay so what is the ip i have to give 
So let me check my question. What IP is given in the question paper? So because I have to give the same IP. Because otherwise, no, you will say, Mister, you put the IP in this one, you put the other IP in the video. So to cover the confusion, avoid the confusion, Baba. Better I will uh, go and give the correct IP. Otherwise, you will say, Mister, you did mistake like that. Okay. So go here. What I gave is uh, 192.161.1.1.1. .1 so 10 IPs I am going to give. Okay. So I'll go here. I'll give the IP address starting as 192.168.1.1 starting IP ending IP up to 10 192.168.1.10 so total 10 IP addresses I give for VPN access okay it is static IP okay 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 perfect okay apply okay okay after that, you have to create a VPN user in the Active Directory. Go to Active Directory User Computers. I already created a user. You know how to create user and password. Okay, so I'll go to right click users and right click new user. You know that. So I did that because to avoid the time lag, right? User is VPN user. Okay, this is a username I created for the client. Okay, now what else we have to do? After that, create user account in okay, VPN user password done. Now, in the particular user, we have to enable that dialing feature so that allow access to the client. Okay, so what is that? Is I'll go to the client again, sorry, server again, go to the server, right click properties, dial in dial in facility, allow access. Okay, already I allowed actually it is like this deny access or some other option you have to make it allow dial in should be allow access we are allowing the client to make the vpn dial in connection okay mr why you choose uh, right click only vpn user because that is a username password i give the client to open the vpn connection i cannot go and click another one if you are clicking that one during the vpn connection no the client should use only this username but I use a specific username so that everyone understand VPN username means VPN user. Okay, so right click it properties and go to dial in the dial in allow access for the client. So click OK. Okay, after that now on the server side is OK. Now go to the client machines. Okay, we have to set the VPN connection. So this is the client machine. I already made a VPN. I will remove that one. Okay, so I have to enter the client machine. Mm, okay. I use the HSCT one as the username. Many usernames are there. I can use any one. Okay. The VPN username is different. This is computer login. Okay. This is so this is not fair. So capital P at the rate dollar dollar W zero R D twenty two. Let me check Baba. Oh no. Again, capital P at the rate dollar dollar W zero R D twenty two. Oh, okay. Login assets city one now already I have the VPN connection. I'll remove this and I will show you one more time again how to set this. Okay. Now when I close this window, okay, not this one. Okay, how you will find the VPN connection is actually there is notification window in the client. Click notification window. Sometimes no, it will look like this. So only four features. So you want to see all the Features no expand, expand, make it big, bada bada. So when you make big, you will get VPN, just VPN, click VPN. Okay, when you click the VPN, no VPNs currently there configured. So we have to go for add a VPN connection provider windows. Okay, now connection name you can give any name. I am just giving VPN connection one. From server, you can give any name, just I give some name. Okay, server name is very important. What is name or IP? So I'll give 172.16.1.2. VPN type is point to point tunneling protocol. Point to point, okay, from client machine to the server machine. Okay, point to point. Then use what type of sign in information? I can connect to the client by using username, password. By smart card, by OTP and certificate. I don't have digital certificate. I don't have OTP now. I don't have smart card. I have only username password. Click username password. What is the username you have for VPN connection? I right click the VPN user username and choose the dial in allow. Right? 
So I'll give the VPN user one, sorry, user password. Let me check again. I think it's VPN user. Yes, yes. Password is capital. Sorry, capital P at the rate dollar dollar W zero R D twenty two. Let me check the password I gave is correct. Otherwise, if you give, ah, see, I give wrong password. If you give wrong password, class cannot connect. Okay. Now let's see. This is the settings of VPN client. Okay. Built Windows built in. You have to choose. Then connection name you can give any name. IP address always give the IP address of server server. Point to point tunneling you have to choose. Type of signing info. You have many options, but currently we have activated username and password. So we will give username password. Save the connection. Okay. Once you save the connection, VPN connection one from server. This is the name of the VPN connection. Click this. Connect. They are verifying username and password. The server. Complete the connection. Completing. Now connected. Yani the device is now connected to the server. If you want to disconnect, disconnect. Now, how the server knows the client is connected? Go to the server machine. Okay. Okay. Open the server machine. Okay. What is this? Go to tools. Okay, it's already routing remote access is chosen. Click this. I'll go here. See routing. Uh, what happened? See, routing remote access client is connected. Okay. What is the username in the NOS uh, domain? See, one client connected. So this is the VPN username. The username you gave. So, what about the properties? Double click. Okay. Or click status. You can see the IP address given is 192.168.1.2. How many bytes transferred in and out? How many bytes in? Coming, how many bytes out coming, outgoing, how many frames, everything mentioned. This is VPN connection. If you want to disconnect from the server side, just click disconnect. Okay, the connection will be disconnected from the user. Okay, this is the video for VPN connectivity. Okay, bye bye. Bye. So let me stop the video so that it will be short. Bye.